Looking for a good car deal, but just can't find one? Well, you could be shopping for the wrong car. Did you know that inventory levels drive prices for new and used car prices? If you have your sights set on a new ride, something with teeny tiny inventory, well, you're bound to overpay no matter how long you do your homework or try to wait it out. At the same time, other makes and models are filling up parking lots and just sitting there. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy. Back today with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal, wearing the new homework guy swag, by the way. Today. Yeah, thanks, Kevin. Looks great. It's time for a new car inventory market update, homework guy style. But it's more than a report on who has how many cars. Today, we're educating you on what kinds of cars should have the best deals right now. Stick around for the end because we're giving away some homework guy phone calls with the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Kevin Hunter. Yes, as the automotive landscape continues to evolve, U.S. auto sales have shown mixed results. Forecasts for U.S. light vehicle sales in March range from a 4.7% to a robust 12% increase, showing a very hopeful rebound from the pandemic and chip shortages. This upward trend is supported by high retail demand and fleet shipments, though a competitive market as inventories recover might temper this growth pace. This is especially noticeable at Toyota and Honda. You know, Kevin, it feels like half the people who reach out to me through Homework Guy memberships are looking for a Toyota, new or used, and rightfully so. Toyotas are indeed great cars that have been built to last forever, but unfortunately, you may have to wait a long time to get one. Be ready to spend day and night searching. And for some of our members, when they finally find the right Toyota, it's in a different state, and before they can make a deposit, someone else has bought it. This is why we're bringing you the inventory update. We'll have more on Toyota inventory and deals specifically coming up, but here's a snapshot of the overall car market, according to Cox Automotive. As of late March, the total U.S. new vehicle inventory stood at the highest levels in two years, signaling a strong rebound and a market right for buyer-friendly negotiations. These shifts indicate an industry on the mend offering better deals as supply chains stabilize and inventories are bulging. The average incentive per vehicle jumped 67% to $2,800 on average. Some standout offers include hefty discounts from Ram and GMC with up to $7,500 off certain large pickup trucks. At the same time, the average price of new vehicles has slipped down to $44,186, a drop that underscores slow movement toward increasing affordability for consumers. Well, here's a look at industry day supply by automaker. If you didn't know, day supply means how long it would take to sell all the cars on the lot based on the last 30 days of sales. Here we go. Toyota has taken a nice jump from the mid 30s to now a 43 day supply, having 261,000 units for sale. Honda is at about 59 days, up from a 44 days that we reported not long ago with 176 vehicles for sale. Lexus, which is the Cadillac line for Toyota, with much more cushier rides and features, has a day supply of 61 days. If you really love Toyota, but having trouble finding what you want, think about upgrading to a little bit nicer ride and test drive a Lexus. Our viewers are having mixed feelings on Kia. Their day supply is at 69 with 109,000 vehicles for sale. But of all the bad dealer reports that we get, Kia seems to be among the worst. I've had mixed feelings about Kia for a long time. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> and then Porsche has a 77 day supply with 11,000 cars. Subaru, another great Japanese make that more of you could consider, has 88-day supply and 121,000 vehicles for sale. With the help of our car buying coach, Stuart, we just got a new Subaru for a longtime friend of ours, the Franks family in Minneapolis. And now we're moving into the slower movers category. Yep, Mini is at 90 days. Mercedes-Benz, 98 days. Mitsubishi has 110 days of supply. And Volkswagen has 114. Two cars we covered recently, Mazda sitting at 130 days, Nissan at 131 days. Lincoln, another cushy brand that is sometimes overlooked, has 159 days of supply. Volvo is a bit surprising with 159 days of supply as well. And topping the chart with ridiculously slow sales and way too much inventory to do anyone any good. Ram has supply of 188 days of vehicles. Dodge also has 255 days of supply. Wow, that's got hurt. <laughs> So what does this all mean? More inventory means better deals? Mostly, yes. Here's a peek at some of the major brands and exactly which vehicles have bigger incentives relative to their inventories. We'll show pictures of each in case you're looking at something similar and hadn't thought of these specific models. We hope this helps you save money on your next vehicle purchase. As of April 2024, Toyota is offering a small range of incentives and finance deals. The minimal offers include customer cash and incentives up to $750 
on selected models like the Toyota Camry and Corolla. Additionally, Toyota is providing special financing rates with some models eligible for 0% APR over 36 months, which helps to lower the cost of financing a new vehicle significantly. Sure. Lease deals are also competitive with options like the 2024 Toyota Corolla available at $288 per month on a 36-month lease. Toyota is still the caboose on the new car inventory level train. Honda inventory levels are a little higher than Toyota. Honda does not currently offer any cashback rebates, but when it comes to leases, the 2024 Honda Ridgeline and 2023 Ridgeline offer good value. The worst lease deals are on the 2024 Honda HRV and the 2024 Odyssey You'll want to stay away from leasing those models. Hyundai celebrated a record-setting March with sales climbing to 76,000 vehicles, a 2% increase. Hyundai has some surprisingly high inventory for them right now. Check it out. For Ford inventory levels, except the F-150 at 83 days of supply, all of their longtime models are over 100 days of supply. Comment below if you've driven a 2024 Ford SUV lately. Do you think these models are better or worse quality than in years past? Maybe this explains the bulging parking lots at Ford. Could be. Chevy isn't about the same boat. The Equinox still looks popular enough, and the Traverse has only a 23-day supply. Other than that, the Malibus and the Silverados seem to be piling up. All right, friends, here are some of the best deals, which include substantial cashback rebates across several automakers. When it comes to cashback rebates, Dodge is offering up to $22,250 on the 2023 Dodge Challenger and $19,500 on the 2023 Charger. Overall, the average rebate across all Dodge models is currently $11,500. You knew that was going to happen with their huge inventory levels. Yeah. Chrysler and Fiat are also providing impressive rebates with amounts like $3,100 and $3,500 respectively. Ford has enticing offers as well, including 0% APR for up to 72 months on models like the Edge, along with average cash back rebate of $3,000. Hyundai, Kia, and Chevrolet are providing good deals too, with average cash back rebates ranging from $1,600 to $4,800 and special financing rates in some cases. Lexus is offering significant incentives on certain models, such as 8,800 cash back rebates and favorable lease terms. These incentives can vary by region, so it's a good idea to check your local dealerships or use some online tools like realcartips.com, truecar.com, or car gurus to get precise local information. If you like what we teach in the content we produce but want direct help planning your car buying journey, consider a membership at the help desk with Liz starting at $24.99 for email support or $49.99 for texting support from both of us. Yep. We are busy, but for members, response time is always fast. We coach you on black book values, the steps of the car deal, and review your offers. If you want to talk directly to me, sign up for that $99 phone call and get all of your questions answered. By the way, that $99 phone call also makes you eligible for the texting support and the email support too. Also, this is the phone call that can hook you up with our new car broker service through our new team member, Stuart. I've got to say that when you see the video update on him, Stuart is on fire with the several homework guy viewers who immediately jumped on board with him and they are ecstatic about the savings they're getting. Not only in dollars, but in terms of avoiding the usual dealer hassles. Yes. Stuart's process is hassle-free car buying at its best, something we promised would happen sometime back. Now, if you made it this far, as promised, we have a special offer for the first five people to respond by texting me at 701-441-3399. You have to say, I watched your new inventory video. We will give away a free 15-minute phone call directly with Kevin for the first five viewers who respond with this message. Once again, it pays off to make it to the end of the Homework Guy shows. It most definitely does. To all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. On behalf of the amazing Elizabeth and the entire Homework Guy team, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy. Thanks for listening.